Hello, boys and girls. Mr. Palst here has something a little different for you today. I'm recording from my own home. Uh, this is where kind of our workstation, our homework table. Okay. And I have an amazing story for you today. My shirt says Smokey the Bear. It says keep it green. Smokey the Bear. They used to have commercials when I was younger about, um, you know, preventing forest fires. And then when you go camping to clean up after yourself and to take care of nature. So the story I have today is called The Giant Cabbage. It's an Alaskan folktale, and um, and it's by Cherry B. Stittler. And I actually got this story in Alaska um, about 15 years ago. And that's a long time for you guys. She's like, 15 years? Mr. Pals, I'm seven. So that seems like forever ago. But when you're an adult, 15 years seems like it can go by so quickly. Uh, I was in Alaska. And I was working for a camp, and it was a camp that would that would travel. And we went to the University of Alaska in Anchorage. And so I spent some time in Anchorage, and then went to Fairbanks, and then Denali. And uh, the first thing about Alaska in the summertime is that they have 22 hours of daylight. So it's really hard to sleep at night because the sun is out, and it just, you know, your body gets used to it when it's dark to fall asleep. And the summertime is just so bright. And I remember um, it was around 1130 at night, almost midnight. And we look outside. It looked like it was noon. It was so bright out. So me and some of the campers went out and we started having a soccer game together and just had a lot of fun because we couldn't sleep. And then the next day, you know, we went to the Walmart in Anchorage and everyone just looked tired. So everyone's in the same boat. And then another Alaska story I got for you is um, I was in Denali and there's a national park up there. And we got a, a bus tour. It literally was a school bus. And we went on this like dirt trail. It was an eight hour day. And uh, I saw a wolverine. I saw a grizzly bear. And uh, just so many animals in Alaska. And Alaska is a beautiful place. It's really like untouched. Um, and there is a lot of wildlife. So with that being said, I want to read to you the giant cabbage. And this story is a lot of fun. This is a story that you can participate in. It's repetitious. And you'll start seeing the rhythm of the story, okay? So after you start getting it, I want you reading along with me. Even though your microphone's off, I can read your lips and see that you're following along. All right. Moose looked out at his wonderful garden. He had rows and rows of tasty vegetable. The fair starts this week. I need to find my best cabbage. For the giant cabbage contest, the vegetables had all grown very large under the midnight sun. Now that is a cabbage. Then he saw it. It was a big cabbage. It was a really big cabbage. It was the biggest cabbage he had ever seen. It was huge. It was enormous, Moose marveled. Wow, this is a giant cabbage. This is sure to win a prize at the fair. Moose trimmed the cabbage from the plant. He tried to lift the cabbage and load it onto the truck. He pushed and he tugged. He bumped and he shoved. But the cabbage did not move. It did not even budge. Just then, Bear waved hello as she pedaled home from the library. Please come help me load this cabbage, yelled Moose. Bear came right over. She saw the cabbage. It was a big cabbage. It was a really big cabbage. It was the biggest cabbage she had ever seen. It's huge. It's enormous, Bear growled. Why, this is a giant cabbage. This is sure to win a prize at the fair. I cannot lift this cabbage alone, said Moose. I will help you, promised Bear. Moose grabbed hold of the cabbage. Bear grabbed hold of the cabbage. They pushed and they tugged. They bumped and they shoved. But the cabbage did not move. 
It did not even budge. Wolf trotted by Moose's garden on his way to the post office and saw the cabbage. It was a big cabbage. It was a really big cabbage. It was the biggest cabbage he had ever seen. It's huge. It's enormous, Wolf held. Why, this is a giant cabbage. This is sure to win a prize at the fair. We cannot lift this cabbage alone, said Moose. I will help you, promised Wolf. All these friends helping. Moose grabbed hold of the cabbage. Bear grabbed hold of Moose. Wolf grabbed hold of the bear. They pushed and they tugged. They bumped and they shoved. But the cabbage did not move. It did not even budge. Fox and Hare jogged down the lane. They stopped when they saw Moose, Bear, and Wolf sitting in Moose's garden. Fox and Hare went over in hopes of a glass of lemonade. But then Fox and Hare saw the cabbage. It was a big cabbage. If you guys know it, you can read along. It was a really big cabbage. It was the biggest cabbage they had ever seen. It's huge. It's enormous bark fox why this is a giant cabbage this is sure to win a prize at the fair said hare hopping up and down we cannot live this cabbage alone said moose we will help you promised fox and hare moose grabbed hold of the cabbage bear grabbed hold of the cabbage wolf grabbed hold of the cabbage fox grabbed hold of the cabbage Hare grabbed hold of the cabbage. They pushed and they tugged. Do you remember, boys and girls? They bumped and they shoved, but the cabbage did not move. It did not even budge. Old Porcupine waddled along then. She saw her friend sitting in the middle of Moose's garden. Old Porcupine's eyes were not as sharp as they used to be, but she soon saw the cabbage. You know it, boys and girls. It was a big cabbage. It was a really big cabbage. It was almost the biggest cabbage her eyes had ever seen. Say, that's a pretty big cabbage there. That giant cabbage could win a prize at the fair, Porcupine said. We cannot lift this cabbage alone, complained Moose. I will help you, promised Old Porcupine. But first, we need some tools. Old Porcupine. Old Porcupine sent Wolf to find her toolbox. Bear and Fox found wood for a ramp. Moose found the rope in his garden shed. Hare moved the truck closer. At last, they were ready to try again. Moose grabbed hold of the cabbage. Bear grabbed hold of the cabbage. Wolf grabbed hold of the cabbage. Fox grabbed hold of the cabbage. Hare grabbed hold of the cabbage. And old porcupine grabbed hold of the end of the rope. They pushed and they tugged. They bumped and they shoved. And the cabbage began to move. But only a budge. Squirrel scampered down from his tree to see what all the fuss was about. He saw the cabbage. Ready, boys and girls? It was a big cabbage. It was a really big cabbage. It was the biggest cabbage he had ever seen. It's huge. It's enormous, Squirrel chattered. Why, this is a giant cabbage. This is sure to win a prize at the fair. Well, it might, Bear sighed. 
but we have not been able to lift this cabbage. Have you tried a stick? Suggested Squirrel. I use sticks to move rocks that cover my cache of nuts. The animal friends thought this was a splendid idea. This may be just the thing we need to load this cabbage onto the truck, said Wolf, pulling over a strong branch. Wolf grabbed hold of the cabbage. Bear grabbed hold of the cabbage. Wolf grabbed hold of the cabbage, and Fox grabbed hold of the cabbage. Hare grabbed hold of the cabbage. Old Porcupine grabbed hold of the ends of the rope, and Squirrel grabbed hold of the branch. <laughs>